from South Africa, Zizou Mandu! Welcome everybody to ECPW Showcase. It's our return. Portland. It's our return to Portland Television. It's our return to Big Up the Television. We're going to about in and the party starter, T2 Madu, is in full swing. T2 Madu wearing the Ring of Honor shirt with pride. He was trained there. Why not?
got some international stars here with Jesus beat South Africa. You know, things are looking pretty bright here in the CPW showcase. And as you're seeing the praises of Zizou and Duo, Ed Badger is talking about the squad. Zizou and Duo went to kick off Badger over in the corner and got caught up. Badger took that leg out and just really taking control of this match out. Good observation, Jim. Would you go to the eye doctor? Well, you know, somebody's got to know something about wrestling between the two of us. And as to be honest, we're all in trouble. You know, I don't understand what you pay for the WWE Network for. We don't even watch it. WWE gets me for free. I don't pay for anything. He's going to do in trouble. Adam Badger taking those knees right to the back. That'll slow him down. Yeah, ever since, ever since that, uh, Zizou went for that kick outside in the corner. Badger has really taken over this match. Well, you got the Badger chance from this corner, Bob, but what do they know? I've already got into it with them. They don't know anything here, Jim. I don't know people don't know wrestling. Badger going to whip Zizou out of the corner. Wow, what? What velocity. I think you can be hitting that corner. Yeah, I think the ring just moved. Well, that and the back, the, the knees to the back of Zizou to do just earlier has got to take its toll. Apparently not enough though, he kicks out at one. This is a great way to kick off our first, first match of the night here on ECPW Showcase TV. It's a big night, Jimmy. It's debut night. And what a, what a great match to start off our, our television show in right here. Yeah, the great, great technical wrestling match, obviously. This bad misses. There's a roll up by the dude. Two count. Oh, it's Badger back in control. Badger using that speed. You, know, you got to say a lot about Adam Badger when you talk about this match, about CZ and Madu. Quite honestly, we don't know a lot about Adam Badger, but I'm looking right now at this match, and he's looking quite impressive. Yeah, Adam Badger tagged uh, the team with uh, somebody last year. We were here last time in uh, and I think they picked up the win. He, he looked quite impressive. But yeah, you're right. We don't really know a lot about this man of Badger, but uh, I think we're learning about him right now. Just taking it to do. Well, of course. Stay slow, down. Yeah, staying on top of him. That's what you gotta do to win a match, bro. You know, maybe talk about that time you take again. I've been in more matches than you ever had, that's for sure. Well, in public, anyway. You don't wanna know about the matches I'm involved with. Yeah, I closed doors, Jimmy. We don't want to know what you're doing behind closed doors. There's a cover by Badger and knee to the back. He's stretching that back again, Jim. Adam Badger has got a focus plan here today to take out the back of Zizi Madu. That will ground him for the most part. Look, look at the strength of Adam Badger. As he just yeah. picked him up and slammed him right in the knee. Listen, I'm going to tell you something that you might not know. You probably don't because it has to do with talent. When you're talented, you have a focus game plan. He's obviously got a focus game plan. He's taking out the back of Zizi Madu. Zizi Madu is hurting even when Adam Badger is not doing anything to him. Adam Badger is going to win this match here, I feel. I feel like, oh, you could be right. I mean, I could be right. Are you serious? I could be right? He has legitimately taken over this match ever since that... that
in. It's not enough to put him oh, away. Still. Adam Badger out of it, Jimmy. Zizi Madu is starting to feel it. He's playing to the corner again. And we've seen this before. This is about to be a, if he if he can complete this. We've seen this before in McAdoo. And wait a minute, look at this. Badger catches him in the corner. Adam Badger playing possum, Jimmy. So he took a little too much time, Phil. Plain and simple. He, he asked the crowd if they wanted it, and that cost him. Frustration. He doesn't know what he's got to do to put away these. I say hit him with a truck. He's going to stay down. There's a kick to the top of the head of Badger. He's up to his feet. What's he going for? He got him. This could be it. We've seen it at Badger before, and it does tonight. Off here in Cortland on TV, Jimmy. Back TV on stars TV. again. I can't believe it. This is a great opening match for this Cortland crowd, and we'll be right back after this. What do they know? 
he gets the goods. Here he goes, goods with that fisherman suplex. Kicks out. Here he kicks out of two. Wait, look for Brooklyn Joe. He's measuring that goods. Oh, and he messes up. And he misses up a Joe. Brooklyn Joe going high risk. Anytime you go high risk, there's always that chance. can't go into the game of the goods. It's a simple theory right there. And, and still, Junior White on the outside of the ring. Can't hold on to the band. Is that Kamora Lock? Looks like it's Kamora Lock, I can't tell. The throw's bad, but anyway, referee Frankie Sasano. Brooklyn Joe has been eliminated. Brooklyn Joe eliminated from this match. And now Junior White's finally going to get into the ring. Here. Junior White's a 
if you take him, I'm not going to get in the middle of it. No. And what's, the, what's the difference here? Like, we know that we know that the goods kind of helps out Timothy Theory here in the back, but I don't know if there's any hate between them. Next week in Megan, what I heard, the goods is going to be facing Timothy Don't discredit Mojo. 
Mojo graduate of the 607 Wrestling Academy. And as a matter of fact, so is Luke Babcock. And Jimmy, I was just talking about how Mojo is superior in every single way to Mr. Luke Babcock. Mojo's always superior to everybody in his own mind. But, uh, well, if you look, I mean, he's the one that has the tail in the ring here. But in all seriousness, this is about to be a good one for the number one number one contender, Sean. Yeah, two, two great young talents, two great young ECPW graduates. I mean, you know, Luke Babcock, along with his brother Oliver, used to be one of the top tag teams here in ECPW. Obviously now, Oliver, part of Team Cop Nasty. Mojo, the most recent graduate here at ECPW uh, Training Academy. And uh, I think a little bit has gone to his head since he's, since he's graduated. Oh, well, it's fair to say that the man is firmly confident in his abilities, but he does back it up. He ain't in this number one contendership match for nothing, Jim. Head side headlocks. Reversal side headlock by Babcock. Go behind to another headlock by Mojo. You know, we, we talk about these guys being students, so obviously they know each other very, very well. So this is going to be one of those matches where one of these guys is going to have to pull something out to, to, you know, to get the other one off their feet and, and do something about it. Well, look, you know just as well as I do when you go down to the school. These two have always had a little bit of tension in the room. Everybody knew a little bit of the tension. we never seen it come out right into this match. Nice roll up by back by Luke. And it's finally come head on here. As Luke Babcock told me, told a couple of people earlier in the week, he wants to show Mojo, hey look, you gotta do more than just graduate, pal. Now it's on to the big show. Now you've gotta perform. And, and he's and he's absolutely right. I mean he, he's, it's time for him to perform. It's put up or shut up time for Mojo if he wants to become a champion here in ECPW. Well what do you think? Probably a bigger stipulation than actually being a number one contender. And Mr. Warzone himself, Dave Gumar, up, up in the up in the entranceway here, scouting to see which one of these people that by the looks of it almost looks like he's got Oliver Babcock. Well listen, he's the architect. He obviously pays attention to things like this. Trying to say something. Why don't you say it? All he's out here doing is watching. Well, yeah, he wants to see, he wants to see who's going to be out part of Team Kumar. Well, obviously, it's going to be Luke Babcock. He's going to lose. Look at that. Close spot. Look at that. Look at how fearless Luke Babcock looks. Are you kidding me? Mojo become a quite impressive here in this match, taking it to Luke Babcock. Babcock blocks the head toss and gets blocked.
I guess we're not associating numbers with this, so I guess we're okay. Babcock with a chop to Mojo in the corner. Oh, made it that time then, I suppose, Jimmy. Mojo taking it to Luke Babcock over in the corner. And if I'm not mistaken, and who knows if I am right now, because it's Zimmer's notes that I'm reading, and these two, the loser, is going to show up in two episodes on the war zone special that we have here, Cor, which you don't want to miss. Am I right on that? Yeah, you're correct. The loser, the loser of this match has to join Team Kumar here tonight. And a big clothesline off the top rope from Luke Babcock. As you say, that Mojo might be that guy. Fast Sunny Rainbow show him what we call the man. We've been kicked off before. Luke Babcock really yanking on that arm. He's focusing on the arm and shoulder. He should be focusing on the leg. If he had the right manager, he should be. There's a nice suplex. No joke kicking out of it. Much to the distaste of this Portland crowd. We would love to see Luke Babcock walk out of here with a win. Like I said earlier, what do they know? Throw off the reversal by Mojo. Jojo getting caught by, by Luke Babcock. Caught him with that DDT. Is he going to go up to the top rope though? That's my question. If he does, this match might be over. I think we're about to get the answer, Jim.
much damage to himself as he did Luke Babcock. Yeah, he, he went to flip Babcock, but Babcock just took all of his momentum and, and just fell right to the ground. Oh, uh, Randall at four. Babcock looks to be in pain. Yeah, Luke holding his left wrist there. The good thing he's hitting him with the right. No, Luke doesn't care about Sonny. Oh, and there's that kick right to the side of the head from Luke Babcock. That was right in front of us, and we heard that. Now here he goes up to the top rope again. Oh, this could pay off big for Luke Babcock if he hits this. Mojo still not knowing where he's at. Babcock pushed up there.